Curious about what Zotero can do? When you're on a web page or library resource and want to save it for your research, you can click on the paper icon at the top right of your browser to save a link to the source, a screenshot of the page, and if available, a PDF copy of the article. The paper icon will change based on what type of page you're on as it recognizes what it's saving. After you save, your articles will appear in the Zotero client and under My Library on Zotero.org. The items you save in Firefox will automatically sync up with Zotero.org and any other device where you have Zotero installed, so you can save articles anywhere and always have access to them. You can see that it pulls all the information I need for my references page. It makes things easy, but nothing automatic is perfect, so if you run into any problems, make sure to ask a librarian for help. As I mentioned, Zotero isn't just for keeping all your articles in one place. It also generates citations for your references page. To cite something, open up the Zotero client. Right-click on the resource that you want to cite and select Create Bibliography from Item. Choose your citation style at Hodges, that's APA. Under Output Mode, select Bibliography. For Output Method, select Copy to Clipboard. Now all you have to do is paste it in your research paper. Like I said, it's not always perfect, so make sure you double check your references for accuracy. That's it! If you're using a shared computer in the library or in your classroom, you will need to log out of your account and erase the history when you're done to make sure no one else can make changes to your files. There's a very easy way to get rid of your information if you're on a Hodges computer. Just restart your computer. If you have any questions or need assistance, make sure you ask a librarian.